Alright, what's up guys, I've got something special here for you today, so this is just kind of a quick update uh, to really see, um, just started spring season again, and you had varsity again, um, so that was pretty cool, so I decided to change up my strings a little bit, so if you've been following my videos the last time, you know, typically I've been using softness lately, um, but I decided that I'd throw in a little bit of semi-hard into my nozzles, so this is what it actually came out like. And it's an amazing pocket. Uh, it's a little bit less defined. Um, and so don't tell me, oh, you're a bad stringer. You don't know anything about stringing. Um, I do know that my pockets are less defined. Uh, and it actually takes off a lot of width. Uh, something that you <coughs> really need if you want to be able to throw uh, consistently and shoot consistently. Um, no matter what the weather is. So uh, these are matching so twins as you can see this one looks the exact same this one's a little bit higher so there you go same channel fair shape so um <coughs> pocket that I did in it just a nice uh, more undefined mid pocket right in the middle of the stick with a good channel like I said you can see there uh, the shooter set up uh, triangle top, and we got a uh, gold nylon, and then volt uh, two volt U's, which is my typical shooter setup. So every so on uh, my starter, I'm running with the white and the gold triangle top. Like I said, the gold nylon, and then we got gold sides and a white bottom. Um, the pattern for this is practically the same as the one that I use for all nozzles, except I use, you can see here I use one S's instead of interlocks or just regular 3, 2, 1. So this, so it's just a tad different, so my backup is just all gold around, so gold triangle top. Uh, there's no nylon in this one, I actually forgot to put a nylon, but gold sides and gold bottom. Um, but like I said, the pattern for this is a little bit different just because it's semi-hard and the way that I wanted it strung was not so, so it's not so shifty um, as the other ones. So, let's see if you can see it. We've got tie second skip um, interlock on this second mesh hole so that 10 diamond row where you can see it's locked down. Uh, and then you're going to do a knot, then a one knot uh, for this next hole. Then you're going to do a two, two S. Then a one S right there. Actually, this will be a three S because it's one, two, and then the third one. This is a two S, and then we got just a one, then an FI, tie through that mesh hole, and then tie bottom. That's the pattern. So, I just wanted to show you all those pockets, and here they are side by side, matching Nas's, um, original Nas versus the remake Nas, that you can see, pretty cool, glad to have two of these, just really glad, and semi-hard mesh, uh, and if you were wondering, comes from Jim Wax, uh, and they actually recently just added it, I think. Um, but it, it works well, and it breaks in fast, and it uh, doesn't chap your knuckles as much. And it's still going to be water resistant, which is something I like, but you can see it's still pretty shifty, especially if you string a more or a less defined pocket. Um, but yeah, that's it as for the update. Uh, Please like, rate, subscribe, and uh, check out my channel, and have a good day.